Hey there, Kyle here, and today we are checking out the Warlow Fuzz Pedal from Jupiter FX. Let's do it! Alright guys, hope you're doing great out there today. If this is your first time here on my channel, my name is Kyle and I take all sorts of awesome guitar gear, I check it out and I bring you guys along for the ride. So if you like bad guitar players, alternative and punk rock style riffs, cleans, high gain, fuzz and everything in between, you're in the right place. So today guys, we are checking out a pedal from my old friend Chris over at Jupiter Effects in Germany. This is the Warlow Fuzz and Distortion pedal. A couple weeks ago, I posted on Facebook that I kind of wanted to start messing around with fuzz pedals as I didn't really have any experience with them and uh, Chris was nice enough to send me out the Warlow to check out. So this pedal, as you guys could probably tell, is mainly a fuzz pedal, but it actually has a little bit of rat DNA in it, which is why they refer to it as a fuzz and distortion pedal. Uh, in the middle here, it is very bright. In the bottom switch, it's kind of a little bit more like a rat distortion. And up top, it's kind of like your standard Big Muff, uh, I guess not standard, it's, it's Jupiter's take on a Big Muff style fuzz. I can't really comment on any of that because I have never played a true rat I have never played a true Big Muff. So really, like most of my videos, I'm just checking out a cool pedal for the first time and you guys are hanging out with me. So for today, we are actually putting this pedal into the front end of my old PV Butcher here and we are going into the low input on here so it basically acts as a clean channel. We are then going into a PRS 2x12 stealth cabinet with vintage 30s loaded up. On the floor here, I actually have an assortment of drive pedals, so maybe we'll try hitting this thing with a drive out front just for fun. I'm basically just experimenting at this point. And between the fuzz pedal and the amp, I actually have a gate pedal from another German builder here, Lichtlärm pedals. All right guys, so to start, I'm actually just gonna put the tone and the sustain at noon here, we are gonna put the switch in the up position. We are gonna turn the pedal off. Here is my bass tone here. All right, so let's go ahead and let's kick the pedal on. Honestly, when I think of fuzz, 
That's pretty much the sound I think of. It's very wooly, very undefined, and just almost sounds like it has kind of a broken distortion. I think it sounds pretty cool. Let's go ahead and see the range of this sustain knob. Here's all the way down. So let's dial that up and let's check out the range of the tone control too. Alright guys, so there is a massive amount of range in the tone control on this setting at least. Uh, you can really kind of voice this thing multiple different ways if you just want that huge, muffled, uh, saturated fuzz tone. feel like this does it pretty well. Let's go into the middle position here. I've noticed that this position is much brighter. We're gonna go ahead and bring these back to noon. When I hear people talk about rat pedals, that's kind of the sound that I think of, honestly. It's like kind of a little bit of a regular, more regular distortion, but a little bit broken up at the same time. still a decent amount of clarity going on there. What happens if we turn that range? All right, and let's roll it back some. And finally, let's go down into that bottom position, put it at noon on these controls again. Uh, pretty similar to the middle position, but it seems to have a little bit more low mid uh, fullness to it. All right, so yeah, just a little bit full, a little bit more muffled. Let's try it out with single coils real quick. Alright guys, so we have a nice amount of clarity going on there. Let's actually pull up the sustain and pull down the tone a little bit. I 
I like how that sounds quite a bit. My noise is trying to poke through the gate a little bit right now. Uh, let's go back up into that top position where it's kind of the thickest sounding. This is the muff setting. All right, let's get some more sustain. So a little bit more broken there. It's got uh, a little bit more top end grind to it. What happens if we hit it with a little Klon type pedal? You can hear the noise trying to poke through. All right, let's hit it with like uh, a Tube Screamer style overdrive. I really like that. It's taken the drive pedals really, really well. Uh, it's, I don't know just kind of affecting them in a pleasing way. Again, I don't really know much about fuzz, so I'm kind of just experimenting here. So bear with me if you guys have uh, suggestions on how to run this thing, how to run fuzz pedals, or what you like to do with them. Let me know down in the comments. I'm definitely curious to hear from you guys. All right, so we're essentially gonna use the pedal uh, to kick into like a heavier part of a song. Right, guys that's gonna do it for me today on the jupiter effects warlow fuzz slash distortion pedal i think that this thing was a lot of fun i see a lot of future uses for my own personal use and i was really pumped to finally spend some time with a fuzz pedal and a good one at that this thing sounds really good to my ears this will set you back 179 euro again you have to get it from Germany because that's where they're located. I will put the link down in the description of this video for you guys to check that out. Thanks again to Chris for sending me this out to play around with. He was not expecting a video. This is not a sponsored video. I just made it because I thought it would be fun. So yeah, put your comments down below. I'll make sure to meet you guys down there to chat about it. What do you think about this? How do you think it compares to other fuzz pedals? And some tips and tricks for me in order to utilize fuzz pedals a little bit better. And if you like what I'm doing here down in the description are all my other affiliate links that greatly help the channel out like Sweetwater and Zounds. Do me a favor, click those links if you plan on buying anything because it really helps the channel out. Or you can add your name to this list of incredible people by supporting me through Patreon. Everything that goes into that Patreon account goes back into gear for my YouTube channel. So I would really appreciate it and I'd love you forever. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Kyle here again, we'll see you next time. You know what this wall is missing? Another ant. There we go.